Hello, loved ones. How are you doing today? Welcome, new subscribers and followers. Thank you for supporting us. We I believe we appreciate you. My name is Reverend Penelope Stewart. Uh, I wanted to come here today, and I it's, it's been on my mind because you know I'm sick of all the hype to you know about cannabis. You know, like it's such a dangerous thing. You know, a lot of people not talking about it. Um, but, I, you know, cannabis helped me open up my third eye. It, it helped me open up my third eye. It started, you know, talking to me about different things in the universe. That's It helped me get into metaphysics. I was able to connect with angels and ancestors. You know, anything I wanted to do spiritually, cannabis helped me do it. Because it helped me see on the spiritual realm. It took me to the higher frequency that I needed to go on to see on the spiritual realm. You want to really see. We say we really want to see. That's why I understand cannabis is a plant. So when you inhale that plant, you get on the higher frequency of that, of that plant. You're able to connect with nature, the universe, and everything around you. You're tapped into the super consciousness then. You already tapped into a consciousness, but when you start, you tap into that outer consciousness, you tap into super conscious because now you can see beyond the veil. You can see. And if you ask the, the, the plant, it will give you the information. I've got information out of nowhere. You know, I know there is no way my conscious mind was that smart, but this plant was able to, you know, school me on geometry. I was never that good in geometry in school. Physics wasn't that good. At didn't even have physics in school, but this plant was explaining to me how it works with how thought forms and how our minds evolve and how um, there is downloads of information that's in the atmosphere that's being um, stopped from coming here, from helping us evolve. I mean, this plant was sharing so much for me. When I go on journey works and go into meditation, this is when I have my most effective meditation journeys. It's when I use cannabis, at, you know, as a catalyst to do this. And I know that's hard for some of you to believe because we want to say, you know, it's a bad thing or whatever. Yeah, anything could be abused. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that we're using it the correct way, some of us, you know. But, like, for me, it happened by accident. It was totally coincidental that I was at home one day and started wondering this and wondering that, and I get an answer. It's, it's helped me do, and it's helped me not just open up my third eye but help me in so many other areas in my life you know I don't advise you to do it if you don't have legal permission to use it I don't advise you to use it but you know it opened up my third eye you want to get your third eye open you really want to see into the spiritual realm you really want because when you say you want to see into the spiritual realm you're saying you want to see the real world you want to see what's creating this world. Because the spirit world, that's what you truly are. You really want to tap into what you truly are. You want to really see what you really are. How we are connected. Cannabis is going to do that. It's going to show you how you connected to everything. It's going to do that. And whatever you want to tap into, the ancestors, all that, it can take you there. Remember, it's connected to infinite information. It's connected to infant information. It's on a higher vibration. This is what plants do. This is why you feel better too uh, when you when you eat more plants. Again, you you are on a higher vibration. They bring you on a higher vibration. Like I said, not many you know not many people are talking about this. Um, I know our ancient ancestors, the Sibyls, they use this too. They sit on tripods and inhale smoke. They used to use them in some of the ancient te temples. Let's look at Shiva. Shiva is the god of cannabis. If you look, at, they you can use cannabis to travel into other dimensions. Now I think they were they bred a uh, a higher form uh, of cannabis, just like you seen that movie on um, Black Panther when he ingested this flower. Come on now, he ingested these flowers and he was able to go see the ancestors. Come on now, that stuff is real. 
That stuff is real. They already giving you an indication of how you, you're supposed to tap into the spiritual realm. You're supposed to tap into these other frequencies. That's why ayahuasca is being so popular now. People are want to have these real spiritual experiences. The only way you're going to have it is tap into an altered state of consciousness if you want that third eye open. You got people getting into cannabis yoga now. They know where it is. And, you know, I like I said, there is a war on consciousness. I know it's a war on consciousness. You know what I'm saying? It's a war on consciousness. They don't want you to have this information. They don't want your third eye open. If they're going to use cannabis to treat, treat cataracts on your eyes, why wouldn't it open your third eye? Why wouldn't it open your third eye? You know it's going to open your third eye. See, that's why I, I try to do a class on this, but, you know, I wanted to explain this in my class. But once you have started, you have connected with the plant, you will start having experiences with it. You know, it's the settings that we, we're in and the intentions. You know, if the intention is right, yeah, it's going to open your third eye. You're going to start to see it'll jump you ahead in wisdom. Cannabis will jump you ahead in wisdom about 10 years because it expands your consciousness you'll be 10 years ahead of your time because you start seeing you start really seeing and i know that's hard for some two people to believe i know it is you know and then then it lights up your chakras too it's opening up your chakra as well but i do recommend you do it with good intentions do it with good intentions you know for high vibrations because if you don't open your third eye upright for the high vibration, you're going to be seeing other dimensional beings if you ain't on the right frequency. Again, it's all how you use it. It's, all has, it's tapped into all different dimensions. But if you want to get on those high frequency, cannabis will do it. It will open up your third eye. Whatever you want to see, wherever you're trying to connect with, uh, whatever spiritually, it's like a crystal. It's like a crystal. Cannabis is like a crystal. It is a catalyst to help you connect with anything in the spiritual realm. A waska, you know, it's, it's kind of like the same thing too. You know. It, that's what helped me. Is it for everybody? I don't know. But I've had, uh, cannabis has been responsible for my spiritual awakening and opening up my third eye. You know. Uh, and the third eye that has the same makeup as these eyes. So if they're going to use cannabis for your cataracts up here, they can use it to decal. You can use it to decalcify the penile gland and start really to see with your real eye, your perception, broaden your understanding, your consciousness. You know that's where it's at. But I, you know, I just want to make this video short. I didn't want to keep you too long. Uh, I wrote a book on it. I think you can get this book from Lulu. I think you can get it from Lulu uh, or Amazon. Uh, Cannabis Shamanism, which tells you everything on how to implement cannabis in your, your meditation practices. Uh, then this book is a good book, Cannabis uh, and Spirituality, if you just want to read up on it, you know. And plant shamanism. This is a good book too. You know, I just wanted to come here and di just, just, cause nobody's talking about it. And I thought I would just come here and talk about, you know, how you can open up your third eye. Do you really want to open up your third eye? This is the way to do it. This is a quick, safe way to do it. If it's, if, if it's uh, calcified, this is the way to do it. Thank you so much for being here with me today, you guys. Light and love. Namaste.